Hello Floss Tube, my name is Kenny and this is my channel Kenny Stitches. Um, I'm also Kenny Stitches on Instagram as well. Uh, this is my channel all about cross stitch. If you're new here, thanks for checking it out. And if you're returning, uh, thanks for coming back. Um, it's been about a month and a half since my last update. Um, I had a retreat, um, we had a, I had my birthday, um, we had my birthday sal. Um, it's just been kind of busy. Um, so I have a lot to show you guys, um, a lot of haul, um, a few whips, and um, I'm gonna announce, starting with the giveaway that I posted in my last video. Um, it was for the Indigo Lane chart. Um, I, I had asked about it um, in one of my previous videos and I had two people send it to me. Um, and so I hit over 2,000 subscribers and so I, with their blessing, I decided to give one of them away. Um, the winner of that chart uh, was through a random picker and it is um, Ginger Giant. So I'm gonna leave my email address in the description below um, and you can email me your address and I will get that shipped out to you as soon as possible, Ginger. Um, thank you all for entering and um, yeah, thanks so much. Um, so we'll start, I've got a mountain of stuff here. Um, we'll start with my haul. Um, I had a retreat last weekend um, and I came home with quite a bit. So I'll start with my most recent stuff first. Um, it was the Tiara Retreat in West Harrison, Indiana. It's about 30 minutes away from Cincinnati and Keepsakes. Um, I helped organize it again this year. And um, my friends Emma and Jennifer also helped organize. Um, we had Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics there. Keepsakes was about 30 minutes away and we had a freebie table. Um, so people brought in all kinds of stash and we, uh, yeah, we all went through the freebies. Um, and I got from the freebie table, um, I got All Hallows Night from Birds of a Feather. And then I got this um, Tell and Emblem Tiles, um, Karn's Bird Wing. These were on the freebie table and I picked those both up. Um, Leslie was there kind of with a pop-up shop. She brought um, a suitcase with her um, some of the most recent patterns she got and some just whatever fabric she could pull off the wall. Um, I got the ink circle, some assembly required. Um, I looked when we went to keepsakes, I looked for the called for DMC. Um, it's four, four zero seven two, and it was really yellowy. And I decided that I was going to use, um, antique lace from Simply uh, General Arts. So I'm gonna use that and I have, I got fabric from Leslie so I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, I got Primrose Cottage, the out autumn alphabet. I love everything Primrose Cottage does. And I got the autumn on the farm from Primrose Cottage. Cute little barn. And this is Leaves of Autumn from Primrose Cottage. And she also had Come On In from Kathy Barrick. Skeletons Halloween pattern. Then she had all three of these Tiny Modernist ornament series. Um, I think they were released through Crazy Annie's last year and they just put them out in pattern form. Um, so this is the Halloween Spooktacular, ornaments one through four. I don't have any ornament finishing skills, so I'll finish them all as one piece. <laughs> this is five through eight. And this is nine through 12. And then on the back, you can kind of see how they are all stitched together as one piece, which is what I'll do for sure. Uh, fabric, she had a lot of fabric. Um, I got this piece of Anya. It's a 46 count fat quarter linen. It's a really soft 
pinkish tan for samplers or just anything kind of pretty and delicate. Um, this is 46 count, properly primitive. I think I might use this for those ornaments, the spooktacular set. That's pretty accurate there. This is Heaven's Fury 32 count opal Belfast linen. I split this, I think, with my friend Emma. She took the other half of it. Uh, this is Minerva 40 count linen. This is what I'm gonna do the sum assembly required on, half of it. Um, and then I'll find something else for the other half, but kind of like a chalkboardy blue gray. Be really perfect for like all those hands-on design and like stitching with the housewife chalkboard series. This is a 40 count opal properly primitive. Maybe this is what I'll use the ornaments for, for the ornaments. And then Leslie told me when I picked her up at the hotel, she said that she dyed this. This is a new fabric that's coming out. Um, I think it's gonna be part of the regular line, but she said, you're gonna want this. Um, this is Persephone and it's a 40 count opal linen. Um, I had the full fat half and then I split it with my, I did split this with my friend Emma. It's a really pretty dark, deep purple. And then while we were there, um, Leslie and my friend Emma went to a quilting fabric store and I am learning how to use my sewing machine, but um, I thought these were super cute. Um, I had her pick these up for me. They're the Tula Pink. Um, I'm not sure the line, but they're little trash pandas. And then she wasn't sure which colorway I wanted, so she got both. And I don't know what I'll do with these yet, but she got me a yard of each, so. Um, my friend Jen, Jen Upton, Upton Stitches, uh, she, I ordered quite a few fobs from her. Um, and those came in. Um, the first one is this dinosaur. Um, our friend Lori, uh, Cat Stitch Cross, Cross Stitch, Cats, and Chaos, ordered this charm for all of us, and Jen made us all fobs. Um, the next one is uh, the Sanderson Sisters. This was one I ordered. And then this kind of vintage, like, not vintage, I guess, cassette. There we go. I, a Christmas Story is one of my favorite Christmas movies, so um, I got a Ralphie. And then I love the Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes. Um, so that is my last fob I got from her. I don't know how to block the, there we go. Um, I got an order from Needle Attractions. She's on Facebook. She um, donated to our retreat. She donated needle miners for every goodie bag we had. Um, and she donated several door prizes. Um, I guess she had some family issues and I didn't even, I just forgot she completely delayed orders and it was fine. Like I understood, um, but she sent extras. Um, I did order this beading mat. I love these. Um, my, our dog Daisy chewed up the last one. So I got that one to replace it. Um, these were the extra ones she sent. Um, wash your damn hands and then this Halloween jar 
and then these were extras as well. Um, these little circular and a stitch. It seems like when she always sends me a freebie, um, she always just knows what I like. I got this stitch. The last time I got a Peter Pan, um, she's, and I don't know how she does it, if she just picks random things, but she's always very good at, you know, getting those. Um, my other ones that I actually ordered are all my, one of my whips, so you'll see those in a little bit. Um, I did go to keepsakes while we were at the retreat. Um, I got this glass needle case. Oh, and from Leslie, she's selling these um, Pony brand needles. I hadn't tried them yet. I really love them. Um, I got the 28s, and I'll probably order some 26s from her as well. Um, they're great to work with. They don't bend. I find myself bending needles very easily, um, and these don't tarnish very easily either. They're hypoallergenic, um, so anybody with metal sensitivities can use them, which I, I don't have them, but that's great. Um, I got from the Blue Flower Forest Home from Keepsakes. Uh, it says, our roots are in the depths of the woods and has all kinds of woodland animals. Um, I had a few, so I had, I de-stashed, I had a de-stash sale, which was also part of my delay, um, which I got rid of a lot of fabrics and a lot of patterns on one of the Facebook groups, um, and then I turned around and ordered some more, <laughs> um, so my most recent one, two, three stitch order, um, I got... A lot of things from the the last, the most recent like needlework market online. So I got the Silver Creek, spruce it up, little Christmas tree. Um, Vincent Van Gogh. And I got the Ink Circles Wildflowers. I did order the silks. Well, the overdies for this one I ordered today. And I ordered the silks for Clouds Over Verland. This is all Belsois silks. Um, and I ordered those today. So hopefully in a few days I'll have those. And then uh, Sugar Plum Village from Shannon Christine Designs. This is super cute. I followed her progress while she was stitching it on Facebook. And um, I couldn't wait for her to release that. So one, two, three got it, and I very quickly added it to cart. Um, I got the Mad Tea Party from Bella Filipina. I did get all of the um, Krennic metallic threads, and I got all the beads, except I'm going to swap these um, these flower mill hills. I got some tiny Jabco buttons I'm going to use. Um, then I have some leaves that are kind of greeny colored that I got from Joanne Fabrics that I'm going to use because these leaves are expensive. So, uh, Crochet Crochetta Go Go. They released two new patterns um, and I love them. This is, I guess, Halloween in City. Got the PDF and the autumn sampler. Cute little bear and trash panda. Um, I started the winter sampler. I have like the top half corner, the top corner done. Um, but I love autumn, so I'll probably start this pretty soon. Um, I got this kit on eBay for. A steel, it's the Japanese Garden from Dimensions Gold. It's one of the new, the newer versions of it. Um, so, not sure when I'll start that, but it's very pretty. Um, I got one of my unicorn kits. Um, I posted it on a stash group, or like a unicorn hunting group. It is the Santa stamp from Dimensions gold. It's very hard to come by. It goes for hundreds of dollars on eBay when they sell it. 
Um, and I had a woman reach out to me and said that she would sell it for, you know, a reasonable price and I couldn't pass it up. I just love everything about this one. Um, I can't remember if I showed this in my last video. I don't remember where it came from, but um, Matter in Hand by Jeanette Douglas. I've wanted it since it came out and it was sold out everywhere and I finally got it. Um, and I just kind of put off getting it for a while. I just kept thinking I'd add it to my next order, add it to my next order, and I finally got it. So I might have got this while I was in Florida and showed it. So there's that. Um, I got Into the Woods, the Mill Hill Button Beads Kit. This was the only one, um, when I went to my LNS a couple months ago, this was the only one they didn't have. And they said it kept selling out every time they got it. So um, I finally got it from 123 Stitch. And it couldn't travel alone, so it came with the Blue Flower Smoky, Spooky Autumn Smalls. Cute little pillow and a Biscornu up here. Um, no Place Like Home from Shannon Christine. There's No Place Like Home for the Holidays. Old Fashioned from Shannon Christine. I might put the this on the other half of that 40 count Minerva. It would look pretty, I think. Um, I got the English tier from Aaron Elizabeth Designs. I love this corgi. He's so cute. Um, Candy Cane Lane from Stitching with the Housewives. I This is my first Stitching with the Housewives pattern that I will actually probably start. Um, I've had a couple, then I changed my mind on some of them. They're in my stash still, but I love this one, so. Um, a kit, a Letty Stitch kit. This is Christmas Puppy. So the Letty Stitch kits come with, and I haven't started one yet, but they come with the pre-gridded Ada. Um, and they are wound just kind of like the um, Luca S kits. I think the only difference probably is that this one has gridded Ada instead of just plain. Um, I got the Hello Halloween book from Teresa Kogut off of a D-Stash group. Um, I love this pattern. And then my friend Josh, he stitched the cats on the inside of it. Let's see if I can find them. These cats right here. I love these vintage-y kind of Halloween designs. Um, this one has, I think, nine, nine patterns in it. Oh, 11. 11 original cross-stitch designs are in the book. Um, 2020 and 2021 Patreon designs and five brand spanking new patterns. Um, this, I think, is a great book. So if, you're, if you've seen it and you're on the fence about it, I think it's worth it. Um, I got Kitty Kitty from Primitive Hair. I saw this at the Needlework Market um, in Nashville this year. And of course she sold out when I finally got to the room. So um, one, two, three stitch, finally got it. And I added it and ordered it with my order. This is um, an RTO kit. It's One Who Loves Flowers. And it's actually a series of I think at least two, there may be another one, but this one's a little bare. Super pretty colors and the threads come on a, like a pre-sorted. And then this is the second one, it's a raccoon. This is Puppy Picasso from Luca S. I love him. Again, it comes with the pre-wound, everything's sorted. Um, it has anchor thread in it. 
Um, and so does the Letty Stitch. So they all have anchor thread in them. Uh, this is the Spring Fairy by Letty Stitch. Another one with the pre-gridded. Um, super pretty full coverage. Uh, wound threads, gridded Ada. I think, oh no, this one's not gridded, but it's still very pretty. Um, it comes with 58 colors, full coverage. Um, Another little unicorn kit, um, Beloved Santa from, it's a Dimensions Gold Petite. I got it off of eBay. And then my friend, um, Claudia, um, she's Kalu Stitches on Instagram. She has wanted this pattern forever. Um, and then we found two. So I helped her find two. Um, and she got both and sent me one. I can't, I know it's a lavender and lace, um, but I can't think of the name of the pattern. Um, but she got one with all the, I think the MPI silks and fabric and she sent me the pattern that was the extra one she got. Um, so, uh, Stitches So Beautiful, I think, was having, um, they had a one-day sale where they had a certain chart on sale, and this was that chart. It's the stained glass Christmas tree. Um, I need another full coverage pattern. Like I need a hole in the head, but you're going to see four or five here. So, from various sales. Um, Tilt and Crafts had a sale. Um, this is Tea Time. Cute Alice in Wonderland inspired pattern. At least I think so. I think she's very cute. And then one of the last Heaven and Earth design sales I got um, mini. It's a mini pattern. A Life Well Lived by Jenna Della. I can't even, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this last name, but uh, this is the pattern. Very beautiful. Um, I got Mini Cozy Christmas Tree by Donna Gelsinger. Puppy dogs and cats around the Christmas tree. And then Mini Teddy Bear Tree also by Donna Gelsinger. This has been on my wish list for a long time. So I finally just added it in the last sale. All right, getting to the end of my haul here. Um, this was a stash unload purchase or de-stash group. Um, this is Hue. It's a 32 count linen. I think it's linen. No, it's an even weave. Uh, it's a fat eighth from Fortnite Fabrics. That's pretty accurate to color right there. And this is another um, stash unload, stash, the stash group purchase. Um, this is Mermaid Mules from Fiberlicious. It's a 28 count opal linen. It's very turquoise with splashes of green in it. This lady was selling fabric for $20 a fat quarter and I bought three. Um, one of them I already used for one of my whips, so you'll see that here shortly. Um, this was the, th the third um, de-stash fabric. This is a Bestitch Me. I'm assuming it's a Fight Night fabric. Um, it's a 40 count fat quarter. Very dark, very pretty, vivid. I have no clue what I'll stitch on it, but I had to have it. Then this was a different de-stash purchase. It's Bestitch Me Through the Stones. It's a 28 count Lugana. 
kind of a grayish green color. I think I might put the um, Autumn Lane Stitchery Dark Queen of the Earth on this. Um, I bought her after the style finished and I got all the specialty threads and the beads from Leslie, so I'll probably put her on that. Um, I have a big pile of Bee Stitch Me fabric from Fabric of the Month and Fight Nights. Um, this was one of my fabrics of the month. It is 28 Count Lugana Luna Moth. A very soft, minty kind of green color. So I get her color fabric in 28 Count Lugana and then I get her neutrals in 40 Count Even Weave. Um, this is Lunar. It was the 40 count fabric of the month. Really pretty gray. Uh, this is Grog. It's another fabric of the month, 40 count even weave. was a fight night fabric. Um, it is a 32 count Jobelin. No name. It's kind of long. It's 18 by 34. So really pretty pinks, purples. I don't know if I'll cut it off into a fat quarter and find something to do with the rest of it maybe. Uh, this must have been a fabric of the month or a fight night fabric. It's a fight night fabric. Through the Stones 32 count linen. Well, now I'm thinking maybe I'll put the Dark Queen on this one, the darker kind of green color. So this is 46 count linen from a fight night. It's the same color as that long piece. Um, I just me pleased and like me next at a few and I end up getting th three of the same color just in different counts. So I need to find a lot of things to stitch on a pink purple fabric. <laughs> and this is a 40 count opal in the same colorway. They're all modeled very differently, so not mad at any of them. This is Squash Blossom 40 count. It was a fight night fabric. It's a very yellow, very, very yellow piece of fabric. And then the last two are fabric of the month. I think this was um, the, the July ones maybe. This is lightly ro lightly salted, not roasted. It's a 40 count neutral, even weave. And this is Glacier 28 count Lugana. I have loved every single fabric of the month I've got from Besitch Me. Um, one was not my cup of tea, but it was just very bold. Um, but everything else I've loved, every single piece I've loved. Uh, I, that's all the haul. So now I have my whips. Um, the first one is a new start. Um, I started it. It's a shop model for Leslie. She brought it to me at Tiara Retreat. Um, it is, I think it's called Witchy Stitchery from Homespun Elegance. So this is the photo of it. And this is where I'm at. So the fabric is properly primitive 28 count linen. Um, 
and I'm using all the called for, she provided all the called for threads. Um, these are my needle minders from Kim that I ordered. So this Halloween tree, this frog, and this am I, am I perfect? No, but am I trying to be a better person? Also no. And then this needle minder came from Keepsakes. It's a Rebel Stitcher design. It's David from Schitt's Creek. And it says at the bottom, I'm trying very hard not to connect with people right now. So I love Schitt's Creek. Um, this is less than a week's worth of progress. Um, it's not a very big pattern, so I'm hoping in the next week or two I'll have a finish. Um, and I'll show it in my video before I send it back to Leslie. I've been working on the Summer Quaker from Leela Studio. I took this to Tiara and it was like the first piece I worked on the first day. Um, I took several projects and I think I worked on three or four, but um, I started in the upper right hand corner here. This is where I am. So um, I'm using all the call for DMC. The fabric is 40 count water nymph from Be Stitch Me Linen. Um, my needle, oh, this is the needle minder. Kim, I already had it, but she's gonna duplicate, which is fine. Um, my Taylor Swift needle minders are from her store. They were pens and I turned them into needle minders. Um, I love how this is turning out on this fabric and I, I don't wanna put it down, but um, right now, I think I'll work on this probably some more next, this month maybe, and next month after I finish that shop model. I also purchased, um, it finally became available from Autumn Lane Stitchery. It was a pattern from their box last year. Um, this is Tonight We Ride. And I actually happened upon a piece of the um, called for fabric, which is Pumpkin Patch from Be Stitch Me. It was the third piece of fabric I got from that D-Stash group. So this is where I am. Um, that's better. So I had all this done under this window to here and then another row across and it was off. So my friend Carrie ripped everything out for me and last night and today I restitched it all. So um, this fabric is a 32 count Lugana and it's so nice to stitch on. Um, I'm stitching everything in the call for colors except the witches. I'm gonna stitch them in um, black petite treasure braids so they sparkle in the sky there um, so i started this and i couldn't put it down i couldn't put it down then i realized i was off and i put it down um it sat for about a week before carrie frogged it for me and then i picked it back up yesterday because i was too lazy to go into the other room and pick up the shop model <laughs> um i have been working also on Santa stops here from With My Needle and Thread. This, so I finished the roof since the last time you guys saw it and I started putting in the brick outlines. Um, the fabric is a 40 count, it's, it's Winter Brew by r, r Reproductions. I use the 40 count because my LNS had the 40 count um, and I don't like 36. Um, I personally think coverage on 36 is tricky. I don't like how it looks with one and I think it looks too bulky with two. So I try to avoid 36 count if possible, but um, oops. this is, usually I don't like stitching houses, but this has been fun to stitch. Um, I love everything about this pattern. I hope I can finish it for Christmas this year, have it framed up for Christmas. I also bought the new long dog sampler, the biggest one ever. This is Saga. Um, a lady in the long dog group, she posted a bunch of like the Saga pattern like in color variants from light to dark in different color hues. Um, so I started this, this is my start. Um, this is a 40 count opal linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's called Lavender Tea. And I'm using a fat half. 
Um, and mine's gonna go from this pinkies, these pink colors, all the way down to dark purples. I think this is my lightest one, and I think it's 3806 or 3605 or something like that. And then my darkest color at the bottom is gonna be 154. So um, I can't wait to keep going on this. And then I also pulled out for a couple days. I worked on my um, Before I Sleep Long Dog Sampler. Um, I'm stitching it on 40 Count Even Weave Winter Wintergreen. I think that's what it's called from Be Stitch Me. And I'm using DMC 501. Um, so this is where I'm at. I think since the last time you guys saw it, I added all this here to this deer. Um, I think I had stopped right in here. So um, this is another, I think I have four or five long dogs started, but this one and um, the one I just showed you is actually the two I'm farthest on. So this is almost a page finish. I think I have to fill in. I think I went into the second page. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where this is at. And then my last whip to show was my birthday sound start. Um, I want to thank everybody who joined me on Instagram and Facebook um, for my birthday sound last month. It was anything Alice in Wonderland or literature, fantasy, sci-fi kind of theme. Um, so I started... This is Alice's Book Club 1 from Tilton Crafts. And I almost, almost finished a page, which I didn't think I was going to do. Um, I know my white's kind of dingy, but I'm hoping when I wash it, it'll come out because I frogged and restitched several times. So um, this last column right here is, we'll fin finish the page. So I'm doing two strands over one tent stitch. Um, this is the farthest I've ever gotten on any full coverage. Um, so I'll definitely keep working on this. Um, yeah, so uh, that is my last whip. We're at about 37 and a half minutes. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video, sticking with me through it. Um, I will be back um, I have a retreat next month in Michigan, um, like October 12th through the 15th, I think. It's in Lansing. Um, so probably after that retreat, I'll film another video um, and update you guys on everything. Um, Ginger, if you, again, just email me your address. I will get your Indigo Lane pattern shipped out to you. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.